Okay, so let's have a brief introduction to biology. So biology is defined as the study of living things or simply the study of life. So there are five basic branches of biology which you need to take note of. The first one is botany, which is simply the study of plants. The second one is zoology, which is the study of animals. The third is ecology, which is the study of interactions of organisms with each other and with their non-living environment. The fourth one is biochemistry, which is the study of chemical reactions that occur in living organisms. And finally, entomology, which is the study of insects. All right, now let's look at the characteristics of living organisms. Okay, so the easiest way to remember these characteristics is using the following abbreviation, Mr. Graphic. Okay, so M in Mr. Graphic stands for movement and locomotion. So movement is the process by which a living organism changes its location and posture without external help. And then the movement of an entire organism from one place to another is called locomotion. R stands for respiration. So respiration is the release of energy from food substances inside living cells. There are two types of respiration. These are aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Then the G stands for growth. So growth is a permanent increase in size, mass, number of cells and complexity of an organism. Then the other R stands for reproduction. So reproduction is simply the process by which living organisms produce their young ones, their offspring. There are two types of reproduction, sexual and asexual. And then the E stands for excretion. So excretion is the removal of toxic metabolic wastes from the cells of the body such as urea, excess salts, excess water, bowel pigments and carbon dioxide. And then the F stands for feeding or nutrition. So feeding is the process by which living organisms obtain food. There are two types of nutrition which are autotrophic and heterotrophic. Then the I stands for irritability or sensitivity. So this is the ability to detect and respond to stimuli. A stimulus is any change in the environment which causes a response from an organism. And then finally, C, cells. So all living organisms contain cells. So cells are the basic functional units of living organisms. Some organisms are made of single cells, e.g. bacteria. Such organisms are called unicellular organisms. Other organisms are made of many cells, e.g. fungi, plants, and animals. Such organisms are called multicellular organisms. Okay, so remember, the easiest way to memorize these characteristics is using Mr. Graphic. M, movement and locomotion. R, respiration. G, growth. R, again, reproduction. E, excretion. F, feeding or nutrition. I, irritability and sensitivity. And then finally, C, contain cells. All right, so let's answer some past paper questions on this topic. The first one, ECZ 2016, paper one. Which of the following is not a characteristic of all living organisms? Ejection, excretion, growth, and sensitivity. So if you remember, sensitivity, growth, and excretion are all characteristics of living organisms. So the correct answer here is A, ejection. Number two, GCE 2016, paper one. Which characteristic of living organisms is described by the following statement? Permanent increase in size of an organism. Excretion, growth, reproduction, and respiration. So the correct answer is B, growth. The last question, ECZ 2014, paper one. Which of the following is not carried out by all living organisms? Nutrition, photosynthesis, respiration, and reproduction. So the correct answer is B, photosynthesis, because it's only carried out by plants. Okay, so that concludes this topic make sure you memorize the characteristics of living organisms using the abbreviation that you have learned